Good afternoon, YouTube. Today I will be doing a tune-up on a Honda EU3000IS uh, generator, basically. So uh, the gentleman brought it over. He said it does not start. He'll pull the uh, he pulled the um, the starter um, cable, and it will not will not turn over. Um, so we're going to do a new air filter. We're going to do a new spark plug. We're going to do an oil change, and we're going to take the carb out and clean it. And everything everything is right inside here. All you do is you take a flathead and you just open up this door and you have everything. You've got your air box. Air box is right here. Your carburetor is right here. This, this plastic cover, and it's in very good shape. You can see even the, even though it's an older generator, it's in very good condition. It's clean. You take your flathead again and you just un oops, come on, get in there and do it. Stand by with me. Okay, you take that cover off, and there is your spark plug. So, as always, Honda builds very good stuff, very easily maintenanced. Um, everything is ergonomic, everything is accessible i mean this is a great idea and this is even a metal pull that you can just pull the the, uh, the plug boot off all right so i'm going to get started on this and we'll see what happens i'll be back okay so i pulled the old air filter and it looks like i mean this thing is brand brand new and if you look inside here this i've never seen an old generator this clean this thing is super clean so I mean the air there's not even any dust in the in the bottom there's usually you know you have some kind of dust accumulation in the bottom here this is unbelievable so that is going right back in spark plug is a little little dirty but not terrible uh, so I'm gonna replace that with the new spark plug and we're gonna put some anti seize on here there was none on here it was a little tight and kind of kind of um, stuck trying to get it out so this has been in for a little while um, but everything looks clean in there I mean even the port so uh, oil drain is over here on this side so this is drain this is fill I just took the, the side cover off just so that we don't get anything messy we're gonna do that next and uh, I'm gonna put the spark plug in the new spark plug and i'm going to just try and start it i'm wondering if maybe he didn't have this on the right settings i don't know i don't know if um the pull start this has to be i guess you can't hold that this is this is spring activated so i'm guessing this has a battery in it and you can start it battery is dead uh so we'll put the choke on put the fuel on and we'll see if we can start it but uh like i said air filter goes right here putting that back in spark plug easy access right there this is the boot and it's got a nice uh, pull on it you just pull it right out and then push it back in with this um, got this plastic cover you need a flathead to get this open to get this open and to get this off and um, I'll be right back and we'll see what happens Okay, I uh, just wanted to do a quick note. To do the oil change, I have these, these little pans. And basically, if you go to Costco, I don't know how many of you have shopped at Costco, but um, you can get these meals. You know, those frozen meals is like two or three meals in, in one box. And they usually come with these, these type of uh, plastic plastic containers and then it's a cardboard box around it but this is so that the stuff doesn't get smashed these are perfect for doing something like this so you can get up under the lip and you can just drain in so this is um, it's almost finished draining and uh, I'm going to show you so I have another one just like that like this and then this is another one and basically these are just the the, the pans 
the little plastic pans that uh, the Costco meals, ready to eat meals come in. So that's what I'm using and it's perfect fit. You can get the lip right underneath it so you don't spill any oil. We're almost done draining. Um, oil doesn't look terrible. It, it, looks, it looks fairly fairly clean. So this thing is serviced before this guy bought it. It's a used one, but it's in very good condition. Um, so I am gonna put fresh oil in it. And then we're gonna try and start it. The, the new spark plug is already in. New spark plug is in. I put the old air filter back in. I just gotta put the cover on and uh, then cover it up when we put the boot on. But I'm gonna do a spark test first. I have a, a uh, device to do a spark test. I'll be right back. So the owner asked me to check for spark and I have one of these devices. It's made by uh, OEM and it's part number, I don't know if you can read that, probably not. 25, let's see what it says. 25227, 25227, it's not gonna focus, but it's an inline ignition spark tester, okay? So you have, you have a light bulb in here and you plug it into your boot and then you put the other end, it has a, uh, a what do you call it, a clamp and you put that down on the spark plug. And let's see if I can hold this here and so we have, we're getting spark. You can see that it's hard to pull it and film at the same time. So we have spark. So I already did the oil change. Oil's filled up, cleaned out, fresh oil. We're staying with this air filter because it's brand new. New spark plug. So I'm gonna put the fuel on, fuel on here, pull the choke out. We have this set to on, and I'm gonna try and start it and see what happens. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so we could not get it started. So I had to pull the carburetor out and it's pretty straightforward. The carburetor sits on these long bolts. Okay, so you have two 10 millimeter uh, nuts that fasten it right here that they go through. This is the carburetor. The carburetor sits in there kind of like this sits in there like this. It's got some kind of electronic connection, which is right here. I'm pointing with, with my wrong finger. Right here, just unplug the electronic connection that's up top here, okay? It's got, uh, it's got this gasket that goes between this metal plate and the, uh, the carburetor itself. And then the backside of the carburetor goes to that gasket right there. And you can kind of see the impression of the gas of the carburetor on that gasket you can kind of see that all right and then i'm going to take the bowl off and i'm going to clean the jets inside here but i mean it looks super clean it really looks super clean so um the 10 millimeters i put them in here so i don't lose them you know it's just uh two 10 millimeter nuts and then this this is uh holds on the air box to the uh, carburetor and that goes uh where does that go it goes into one of these it goes into this one i think and it just fastens it all right so that's that's everything i'm going to clean it and we'll see what happens okay so i put the carburetor and the jet it only has one jet in the middle uh, this is the bowl, okay, this is the carburetor, and uh, I am going to run it through my Sonic cleaner. It had a lot of varnish, and this, this all came out when I took the jet, pulled the jet out. So this is the float. It's weird, it has a plastic float pin, and that's the float needle. I'm going to actually put this in and clean this too. Um, it has some electronics, like I said, on it. So take the electronics off, obviously, before you put it in. This is the, uh, this is the bolt that holds the, the bowl onto the carburetor. Okay, so I'm going to run it through there, make uh, maybe two or three passes, and we'll see how it comes out. 
and then we'll put it back together again. All right, stand by. So this is what the water looks like after the first pass through the sonic cleaner. So this is all the varnish and all the debris that was, you saw it was clean water, it was clear water. So I'm gonna dump this out, put fresh water in again and run it again. And basically what I normally do is go till the water is clear. So we'll see what the next pass looks like. All right, I'm gonna clean it and come back. Okay, just to show again, so we have it set for 480 seconds, clean water, clear. This is the second pass. I'm gonna come back when it's finished. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, just wanted to give you a look at it before I put it back together again. So you can see it's all cleaned up. The jet's back in, the jet's nice and clean. All of this stuff, there was this stuff in the bowl. The bowl is completely clean, you can see. So they just have to put the float back in, put the bowl on, put it back in together. Put, I already put the electronics back on, so this is the electronic unit. Make sure that you shake it out and get all the water out of it before you put it back in. You don't want it to go in with any water. All right, so that's where we are. I'm going to finish putting this thing back together again and then put it back in the, in the generator. And then let's see what happens. So after all that, still doesn't start. And what I found out is that the fuel in the tank is still, it's coming out yellow. So it's, it's bad fuel. Um, he... He told me he had drained it and put fresh fuel in, but it's obvious that uh, it still has old shitty fuel in it. And um, it just got clogged up again, I guess. It wanted to start and then uh, it just won't start now. So I'll have to see what he wants to do. Well, I can't drain that tank, I don't know. Um, I guess you have to take the whole you have to take the whole frame apart or cover apart to get to the tank and then drain it out. Or the other way would be to just pull the uh, fuel line off the carburetor and drain it out. Those are two options. Probably the, the second one is the easier one of the two. And just drain it out somehow. So I'll see what he wants to do. Mike machine's out. Sorry, I did not conclude with a, a start, but it is what it is. You saw how to... Uh, how to refit one new plug new air filter uh clean the carburetor that should have did it but if the fuel's bad it's not going to work mike machine's out so i had stopped that other day i was going to finish the video with that last clip but what i did was to get it running now which we have it running i uh i cleaned the tank out completely then i took the carburetor out and I flushed it with brake clean. I didn't run it through the sonic cleaner again. I just flushed it with brake clean. Whoops. Let me turn this off. You can see it's running. And, and after I did that, I put uh, a gallon of fresh fuel. I got fresh fuel. I put a gallon in twice and shook it around to get all the sediment out of the, uh, the fuel tank. Then I went in, you, oh, you can't see it anymore. There's a bowl under the petcock back in here. Took the bowl out, cleaned that out, um, and then put everything back together again. And it started on first pull. So that's it. Um, any questions or comments, leave it down below. Mike Machine's out.